O'Neill Yards, taking mankind across the stars. Owning the majority stake of the Titan Yards Complex, the Phobos Materials Complex, New Earth Trading Company Orbital Facility, and a number of large-scale projects in the Lyran Alliance and Federated Suns, O'Neill is one of the leading power brokers of aerospace industry, involved in the production of KF drives since the dawn of interstellar travel. Preferring to let the industry drive itself rather than seek direct control, it also maintained, with great pride, a strict policy of neutrality with all inner sphere factions, responding harshly to any that endangered it. Fully operational throughout the succession wars, O'Neill fulfilled contracts to supply and maintain civilian jump and drop ships for Comstar's fleets, as well as word of Blake's increasingly requested military crafts. The newborn Republic of the Sphere would expend considerable effort to rebuild and restore the facilities around Titan, horrific damage during Operation Scour. Most notably and worryingly, O'Neill's warship transit drive manufacturing facilities was completely lost, and estimates indicated over a decade to restore them. The Republic Armed Forces took the pragmatic choice to repair the dropship's production lines and revive the original manned version to bolster their fleet, despite of the TNA drone's brutal actions during the liberation of Terra. Restoration of production lines for other craft, such as the Achilles glass, continued at a much slower pace. Subscribe for more videos like this. Bye for now.